take a look. Here's, here's what I found out about insulin. Insulin, there's these little nodes on your pancreas that make this, I guess it's a hormone, called insulin. Insulin does one thing, and it is the only thing in your body that can do this, just like the Levite priest. Insulin, you see this picture here. In, built into the cell membrane of all your cells are these little gates called insulin receptors. These little gates are specifically designed for these, this hormone called insulin to slip in there. And once it does, it opens up the door or the gate to the cell. The insulin receptor's job is to open the cell and bring in sugar from your blood. Once that sugar has been brought into the cell, it's carried over to the mitochondria, which is the altar, and it's burned, just like the sacrifices. And here, here's the thing. Everything that you eat, meat, vegetables, bread, chocolate chip cookies, candy bars, everything. Your body has a way of converting that into sugar. We always say, yeah, he's got a sugar high. It means he's got a lot of energy. Yeah, because the cells have plenty of fuel now to do whatever it is. People who, you know, go biking or they, you know, trailing or jumping out of airplanes or whatever load themselves when I used to work in construction. I mean, I carried Twinkies and fruit pies and all that stuff and breads. Why? To give my body the quick energy that it needed. And I ate a lot of bread to give it those long-term carbohydrates, that long-term sugar that I needed. Okay? That's what I used to do back in, the, back in the younger days. My body converted all of that into sugar, put it in the blood, and it was the insulin that, and only insulin that had a right to open up my, the gates of my cells and bring that sugar in. Here's what happened with me. Because of my weight, my pancreas was not putting out as much insulin first. Number two, the weight was prohibiting the insulin to work the way it should. And so sugar, instead of being put into the cells where it was needed, was just building up in the blood. That's how they figured it out first test I had at the doctor's office, I was well over 300 on my way to a blood sugar level of 400. That's dangerous. God caught it just in time. So I realized then that my Levite priests, number one, there wasn't enough of them, and number two, they weren't doing their job. They were lazy. Now they seem to work pretty good. Okay, I wonder why. But get this. Just like you have a cell membrane, you have a gate in there. And in that gate are these Levite priests called insulin, which are the only ones who are allowed to open that gate and let those sugars be brought in. In Exodus 27, 16, the gate of the court shall be an hanging of 20 cubits of blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twine linen wrought with needlework, and their pillars shall be four and their sockets four. Whenever you see four things in the Bible, you think Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Everything, every bit of this is about the gospel and it's about Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to think about this. The only way that you and I are allowed into the most holy place of God is by what happened in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Christ's birth, his life, his death, substitutionary atonement, redemption, the blood blotting out our transgressions, and him coming back to life again. And all four of the gospel writers tell the story a little bit differently, but it's the same story. Life, death, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Just like why are there four? Why is there blue, purple, scarlet, fine twine linen? Why are there four pillars and four sockets? Why this number four? Because God's teaching us, just like in the cell, there's only one way into the most holy place, the cell nucleus. There's only one way into God, and that is by what Jesus did 
in those four Gospels. Without that, you and I have no right to enter into the most holy place.